makes you sick. <laughs> it's like, so what they said it's a lot like caffeine. It's like a caffeine high. It's made of powerful, natural, legal stimulants. Tibetan Ma Huang. The Ma Huang is what most concerns federal regulators and doctors. It's a plant which produces ephedrine, a stimulant used in dozens of over-the-counter products and prescription drugs. The FDA is studying ephedrine and complaints that it boosts the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Doesn't mean that we necessarily have determined they're related, but they're serious enough that we need to investigate further. There is no investigation specifically targeting herbal ecstasy. Toxicologist Bill Robertson says it could be dangerous because of the ephedrine, but only if taken in very large doses. There really is no cause for serious health concern if taken in small doses. No. No, there really isn't. Five years ago, Dr. Brains, that's what he calls himself, developed organic ecstasy, another natural stimulant which doesn't contain ephedrine. He admits the competition has a potentially powerful product for young partiers. And if you're going to a rave and you're a 17 or 18 year old, it'll give you a, a big kick. It's like drinking a six pack of double espresso. Well, number one, we're not, we don't sell our products to children. Uh, we discourage our distributors from selling to anyone under 18. Rob Kessler of Global World Media, which produces herbal ecstasy, says these little pills are safe, safer than street drugs, safer than alcohol or cigarettes. We have a tremendous technology and knowledge available to us to provide people with safer alternatives. However, they do have effects, and you should use them responsibly. Kessler says business is good, and the company hasn't had a single complaint from federal regulators. In Seattle, I'm Alan Schaffler, King 5 News. The company will soon be selling herbal ecstasy too, which contains no ephedrine.